Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. Oh, still not smoking. These are my cigarettes. And we've been cutting down on them. Me and Grandma are doing pretty good. Been over two months. So you get to listen to me talk while I'm chewing gum. One of them things I hate hearing somebody do. See that or light up cigarettes. I'm hoping you don't hear that fan in the background. Sitting here on the front porch in Georgia at my boy's house. Me and Grandma's been out here. She went inside, starting laundry, I guess. I've been reading some of the nonsense online. Wondering where we go from here. And I say it like that simply because there was a special that some of the black celebrities recently done. And that was their big question. You know, I didn't watch it, needless to say. The, uh, Word on the internet is that now Oprah put it on. Imagine that. And they said that she started it with what you white people have to understand. Really? The little post goes on to say is reverse that. Reverse the color. Where they were saying, what you black people have to understand. It'd be called racism. But being that Oprah said, and it's against the white people, it's not supposed to be racism. I beg to differ. It is. You want to uh, get rid of racism in the country? Put it back to where it was before Barack Obama came into office or even make it less than what it was then. Quit referring to everybody as black and white and Mexican and Chinese and how about just referring to everybody as people? How about if the media, the news people, when they're making a report they just say a man or a woman, which they will do if it's a black person or a Mexican person, but if it's a white person involved, they make it a point to point out that they were white. And there are those that say, oh, well, that's reverse racism, and, and you have it coming. Really? <coughs> How does me or anybody Living today, have it coming. What did we do to anybody? Or at least the majority of us. I said it yesterday. Ain't nobody living today. And in which I really shouldn't say that because there are slaves today. But people choose to ignore that. But the majority of the people living today has never owned slaves. Your Muslims and a bunch of them, they still own slaves, whether you like it or not. And some of them are black and brown and are owning slaves, whether you like it or not. Where's the outcry there? 
they're not white, right? You're not white, you're not right. Ridiculous. There are so many successful people of all races around the world and mostly here in the U.S. for our conversation. How come it you didn't hear from a bunch of these stars until all this nonsense started? It's because once again they want to make money off the black man and, and, and all that stuff. I don't think for a minute Black Lives Matter has got anything to do with racism helping the black guy. I don't believe it. It was started by a white dude that hates everybody. He's got anger issues like so many of them do. Huh. Too many politics in it. They lay their head down and they're real quiet until they get something like this George deal. Then they come out swinging like hell. Well, where was you before that? What happened to you? This whole thing about destroying statues and and all this, tearing them down and marking them up and, and whatnot. What's that supposed to prove? That you're angry? To me, it proves that you're throwing a tantrum. Wow. Believe it or not, folks, regardless how big of a tantrum you throw, and I'm done with my cigarette, and that's how I work it. Is I chew that gum until my cravings are all gone. I'm done with it. Regardless how big of a tantrum you throw, how many statues you tear down, regardless uh, how much you try to erase history, you can't erase it. And it will forever be written somewhere the truth. Period. These uh, governments, locals and whatnot, these institutions, colleges and stuff that are removing all these people that had some kind of racist tendency or owned slaves and oh stop it. That's part of our history. Period. It was part of the times. It happened around the world. Like it or not, it was other black tribes capturing other black tribes and selling them into the slavery market. Where's your anger there? Where's your anger at the slave traders that brought them across the oceans and so many died? Where's that anger? There was slaves all around uh, uh, the world. Where's that anger? There was slaves of all races. The Irish was slaves. The Chinese was slaves. The Jews were slaves. Where is all that anger? Why is it we're only angry about the black man and woman that was a slave? Why is it we're only angry about those that was enslaved in America? Where is our government at now? Where is our learned people that should be telling them that you cannot erase history, you don't want to erase history, you want to embrace history, you want to teach history. You want to educate our young about our history so that it's not repeated. Right now, I feel like it's being repeated. 
They like to call the white man the neo-Nazis and all that nonsense. Well, right now what you're doing is exactly what the socialists did, what the Germans did, is exactly what's going on right now. They went in and tried to change the history of their country. They took down all the statues and whatnot that meant anything to anybody. They tried to, to muddy the waters so that they made it look worse than it really was. Stop thinking about it, boys and girls. Squeaking wheel syndrome. I'm sorry, it's squeak and wheel syndrome. I don't really think, honestly, that there are that many people that have issues with our history. I think it's a few, and mostly those want to make money off of it somehow, that are having issues and creating this problem. And right along with it are those that or encouraging them and paying them to go out and as the old saying goes, follow the money. AG Bar right now is uh, 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 excuse me, in the process of making it where these groups uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, Atipia uh, uh, and all this, that there are terrorists organizations good from my understanding the president just signed some kind of executive order about those defacing federal monuments and all this stuff good do people have a right to be angry yes do they have a right to be angry about anything yes they do. You don't have a right to destroy other people's property, including the public's property. That ain't your right. You had my sympathy till you start hurting people and destroying stuff. At that point, I lost it. Or you lost me. What happened to George was terrible. It shouldn't have happened. I don't care if he was a drug addict. I don't care if he was a, a thug. I don't care what it was. What happened to him was wrong from what I've seen in the video. Period. It was wrong. I got news for you. What grandma teach you? Two wrongs don't make a right. So the rioting and the looting and the stupid shit that went on in the streets, it ain't right. It ain't right. That does not make what happened to George any more right. Al Sharpton getting paid to go speak at his funeral, it ain't right. People making money off that man's death ain't right. Black Lives Matter only being upset when the cops kill some black ain't right. If Black Lives Matter, then you need to be raising a fuss about the black on black crimes. You need to be making a fuss on uh, all the other stuff that's happening. Just my thoughts. A little bit I wanted to share with you this morning. Y'all have a blessed day now. Remember, God loves you. So do I. Think about it. Bye.